little bit about how to approach role play interviews. So role play interviews are usually going to be a situation where the employer that you are interviewing with is going to ask you to participate in a one-on-one -on -one kind of fictitious uh, role play scenario where you are usually going to be uh, acting as how you would in the, the actual job you're applying for and the person across the seat from you, you know, the hiring manager, is going to be the, uh, the client. And so you maybe you're pitching to them, maybe you are asking them questions, maybe it's a maybe you're role playing like a customer service phone call and you have to deal with uh, a difficult client. So th 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 this is a opportunity for the employer to basically see how you would actually re react in a, a hypothetical kind of on the job situation. So role plays are a uh, actually pretty common uh, interview interview method. So you can definitely expect this if you're in any sort of uh, especially sales or, or marketing type job. But even if you are in a non client facing job, there still might be a role play type interview. And for example, that, that, that could be something like, how do you interact in a team, right? So maybe they'll put you in some sort of brainstorming uh, session, or maybe they'll put you in some role play where you have to deal with a difficult situation. So um, knowing how to approach a role play interview is, is quite important. It's gonna be quite helpful for most most jobs that uh, most job interviews that, that you're going to. So let's let's take an example of, of what a role play situation could be. So let's say you're interviewing for a market research agency, and in, in this market research agency, you know your job would be a consultant. So maybe you get a, a consultant role play uh, situation, and you have to go to a client. Let's say it's a spaghetti company. I'm sorry, spaghetti sauce company. <laughs> that could be more interesting. And um, you know you, you have to go find out what kind of um, you know consulting that they need and what they're what they're trying to do. All the information you have is this spaghetti sauce company, you know, wants to enter into the Japanese market and launch a new spaghetti sauce brand, but they've never never done it before. So you have to go in and you're gonna um, supposedly you know help them with market research for for the Japanese market. So when you go in there, you know, you should have a million questions that you want to ask, right? Um, why are you entering the Japanese market? You know, have you been in, have you entered any other markets? You know, what um, what is your timeline to launch this spaghetti sauce brand? Um, you know, what what other experiences, um, successes, and failures have you had launching in in other markets? Um, and then you need to come in also probably with some knowledge of, of the local market. But I would say you can't, you know, th they're not going to expect for you to be this market expert in in whatever uh, you know, whatever topic is in a role play, right? So in this, in this specific example of spaghetti sauce, uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to know anything about spaghetti sauce or, um, Japan or, or, or whatever, right? You just have to be asking the, the right questions and the right questions are going to be ones that really, um, poke into the evidence and find the details and also question the assumptions of, uh, what, what, what the client is saying. So really you should only be talking maybe 10 or 20% of the time and you should allow the, the client in, in this role play and whoever, or whoever it may be to be talking 80% of the time. And if you're asking questions most of the time, then, uh, you know, you should be able to do that. Now, a good, a good question is not going to be usually not going to be a yes or no question. So if you just, if you just ask them, um, you know, Hey, are you guys, you know, launching, launching in a new market or have you had any other market launches? recently and they just say yes or no, like it's not really, um, it's not really a good question because it's kind of a, a dead stop. So unless you have a follow-up question to that, then, then try and avoid that. Ask open-ended questions. Um, other, other tips for, for role play interviews, really use the, I really recommend using like a Socratic method of questioning. And that just means asking why, uh, at least two or three times to really dig into the, um, kind of the, the, the core meaning of what the person is saying. So if you don't understand why they're doing something, or they've just kind of made made some big statement, then really don't be afraid to question it, right? So um, your consulting skills and your role play ability is not going to be judged on the amount of information and, and preparation you've done researching all the stuff. It's going to be based on how good your questions are, and therefore you should really, really just focus on on uh, figuring out the flow of your questions and also um, what kind of questions are appropriate for for that specific role play. So the other thing you want to consider outside of you know the, the the line of questioning is really the flow of, of, the, of the questions right so even if you have 20 or 30 great questions you want to ask if you ask them in a uh, kind of random order then it might be a little bit awkward or it might it might just not flow very well so for example in going back to the spaghetti sauce example if you're going in there as a marketing agent, uh, agency or consultant and you're saying hey spaghetti sauce company um, great you know great great to meet you what, what is your budget for launching the spaghetti sauce right like starting to starting off with money and and asking what is your budget is not a good first question right and um you know it's it's you never really just want to talk about money from, from 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 the first interaction so maybe that's a uh one of the last questions you ask toward towards the end right once you've actually shown that you understand the client right so um think a little bit about what makes sense in context um practice it in front of the mirror um look up videos of um role plays and negotiations and that, and that sort of thing and those, those will help you along the way so i hope this was helpful and if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them below and i will see you next time